Hi there, welcome to Own Colors, I'm Erica. On today's weekend whip, I'm going to be working on a page in Kingdom of Curious Creatures by Kanoko Agusa. Actually, I haven't started this yet, so it's not really a whip, but this is one that I've wanted to color, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I also am using my Faber-Castell Abracadabra pencils. These are watercolor pencils. You can also color with them dry. Um, but I'm going to try my hand at a little bit of watercolor as a base for um, some of the items on the page. So I decided I was going to do this page, which is so cute with these little fennec foxes. And uh, I have an inspiration sheet here that I found online. Well, I found all these different images on Pinterest, but um, look how cute these little guys are. So I thought I'd, I'd give that a go. Um, so we'll see. I'm not sure what I want to do. This is going to be the color palette I'm going for. So lighter, lighter colors there. I really like this, um, the, like the blues and the peaches. Um, so yeah, I'm looking, looking at that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to try. Um, I think these are fennec foxes, but even if they're not, that's what I'm going to make them. Okay, so let me grab. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the little foxes first, give them a little bit of color. So I have this color. So this is burnt ochre. We're going to give this a go. I'm just going to do a light uh, coat of this to start. I'm going to be referring to my, um, here, we'll start with this guy. I'll be referring to my reference images quite a bit, just so I know kind of where to put my color. Um, but yeah. So hi, everybody. I know it's been a little bit since I've been here. Um, I started feeling a little bit better today, which I'm thankful for, but it's been, it's been a little rough. Like I wasn't, it, it it was a weird combination of all kinds of stuff. I think, um, there wasn't anything like there wasn't, I didn't catch anything. There was no like illness necessarily, but I just felt bad, like really bad. Um, all right, let me think about this. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of the color here, all of his little feet. This whole leg is going to be colored. Um, yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do his whole body here. And I think the watercolor <laughs> pencils will work okay in this book. I did not test that out beforehand. I probably should have. That's something a little scary, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, so I just want to put this out there before I really start talking about, about it. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, depression today. So if that is not your jam and you don't want to, you don't want to hear me talk about it, just want to watch me color, you can absolutely just mute this and, uh, you know, enjoy your day. But if you, <laughs> if you don't mind, I am going to talk a little bit about it. Um, I think... I'm pretty sure that I had like a, a just a rather nasty episode mixed in with oh well I should probably put this disclaimer out there too so I'm going to be talking about all kinds of stuff so um womanly issues and <laughs> and everything that you know most people just are like I don't want to talk about that um at least that I know uh so I'm going to talk about it a little bit. And if it, you know, if it offends somebody, I apologize. But, you know, I just feel like we need to talk about it a little bit more. So I am 45. Uh, I am pretty sure I'm going through all of the, I'm, I'm in, what is it, premenopause or perimenopause, whatever it's called. Um, I am having the world's worst periods, an immense amount of pain and just uncomfortableness. Um, it's not cool. 
and that just all kind of hit at the same time and then I started getting like really low and then my youngest started back to school and then it was like all these changes started hitting at the same time and I just kind of shut down um, which is hard because for the most part, like I knew, I was like, yes, I need to get up and do this and I need to do that and I need to do that. And I literally couldn't do that. Um, and it's super frustrating. Like it's so, it's so frustrating that my body was just like, no, I don't think so. You're not, you're not doing that today. So, um, yeah, and I and since then I've been I've had a couple of days where I've just had like no energy and my and I've had nausea and I've had like I feel like I should be sick with something but I'm not like I'm not testing positive for covid. I'm not there's nothing happening. <laughs> it's just bleh. Just bleh. So, it's been a little frustrating. Um but today seemed like a better day. Um so that's good. Um, until just about, oh, 30, 30 minutes ago or so. And I started, started getting a little nauseous again, but that's probably because I ate. I haven't been eating a whole lot, um, because every time I do, I get nauseous, but, um, I figured since I was feeling better today and I did eat earlier and was fine. So I was like, well, maybe it'll be fine. And it's, yeah. So... So yeah, so I'm a little bummed because I'm just not, I'm just not feeling good. Um, and so we're going to be making some doctor's appointments <laughs> because I'm tired of it. Um, and it's just, it's not okay. Like, I don't, it's not, I don't know, you hear like women say, oh, well, that's just part of getting older. You know, you just got to deal with it. And I say bull crap to that. Like, there's no reason I should have to feel like this just because I'm getting older. Like, it's not, that's not okay. There is, something's got to, got to change or got to happen. Something's got to be fixed because this is, it's awful. And nobody should have to feel like this. And the fact that we've let so many generations of women go through this and have not come up with something, um, it's upsetting. So, so yeah, so that's where I am. <laughs> um, like I said, it's, it's not, you know, happy go lucky Erica here. I just, I needed to be real about some things for just a second and let you guys know what was going on. And I am, um, I'm trying to, you know, work through things, which is why I'm here today, first of all. Um, I think that is a perfect match. I mean, look how closely. So when I come in with my fur texture for these pencils, that's like, that's really good. It's a good match. Um, sorry, <laughs> I get sidetracked easily. Uh, yeah, so, um, so yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get, get back to where I was um, and, you know, I'm sure, I know that everybody, you know, especially women, we all have just these cycles that our, our bodies and our moods go through. So I know that it's, you know, that, is that a leg? I don't know if that's a leg or not. Shoot, I think that's the leg. I'm going to say that's the leg. Um... Oh, darn it, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, at cycles, maybe? I think that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah, so we all go through these cycles. And I know that I will feel better at some points and I will feel worse at some points. Um, but, like, the worst parts are just, it's just too much. It was just too much this time. Um, and then, yeah, and then everything compounding on top has just been, just been rough, rough couple weeks. But um, today, I am happy that I am coloring in a Kanoko Agusa book for the first time ever. And I'm going to finish this page because I really like it. I like this one a lot. A lot of her pages, when I was flipping through, 
I was like, oh yeah, these are all super cute pages. I, I thought they were just all really, really adorable. Um, let's see, I kind of want that to go there. I'm trying to see, I think that's probably about right. Um, but a lot of them have things in them that I, I either don't want to color or I wasn't sure like how to color them. And when I was looking at things, I was like, well, I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's more like flowers and things. Like I didn't know exactly what kind of flower it was. And I feel like in her books, I need to go more realistic, but maybe I should just, maybe I should just go for it and try it out and see if I, you know, if I want to do it differently. This one is for sure going to be as realistic as I can make it because it's so cute. So cute. I love this one. Um, but yeah, so thankful that I'm trying something new today. Thankful that for the majority of the day, I was able to function. I did take a shower today, which is like really sad that that was my biggest accomplishment. But hey... I did it. <laughs> um, I mean, I, you know, I, I've, I have struggled a little bit here and there taking care of the family as well. So a couple of nights there were no dinners, <laughs> you know, they had to fend for themselves for dinner and things like that. But I mean, they, for the most part, they get it, you know, they're not, they're not like, crappy about it you know they don't they don't they're not mean about it they're not they're understanding it would be nice if they would be like do the dishes understanding or <laughs> you know but that didn't happen however they you know they don't like begrudge me some time to myself when I need it um it's more you know I'm beating myself up when I when I just have to shut down which I shouldn't have to do, um, basically. That's how I feel. So, so yeah. So sorry. This was this was a little heavier start. Um, I just needed to get that stuff off my chest, and you guys are always the best about just hearing me, um, tuning in and listening, and just making me feel like I'm not alone. Um, and I love it. So. Thank you all for being here and, and just, yeah, just being here. Um, yeah, so channel news. I have definitely stalled on the Amazon, <laughs> the Amazon video. Um, I have, I, like I said, I have a portion of it recorded. Um, but every time I look at those pages that I've uh, pre-prepared, I just kind of shut down. So um, I, I'm, they're in my head. I, they're on my desk. Every time I come down here, I look at them and I'm like, ah, I got to do that. Um, so hopefully is, I, I will do it as soon as I am able. Let me, let me just say that. I will do it as soon as I am able. Um, the other thing that I have started, I am halfway through the color along for this month, and that one will definitely be done this month. I already have half of the video uploaded, so it will be a two-parter um, for the color along this month. We are I'm I'm doing a page out of uh, a million magical creatures, or a million month. What is it? A million little monsters. Her uh, Lulu Mayo's newest one. Um, so yeah, so that one is, has been started. Um, I like the way it's going so far. It's an interesting take for me. It's a little different than what I would normally do, I think. Um, so that's been, that's been interesting. So I'm working on that one. And then, um, really that's, that's probably about it. Like I'm not, I'm not doing a whole lot else. I have colored a few pages, um, in books that I, I, you know, wouldn't have done without my hashtag this month with month, which if you are 
wanting to color along. It is the um, Color Asia August, color, right? Color Asia August, yes. Color Asia August 2023 is the hashtag. And um, it's basically coloring in any uh, books that have to do with Asia, any books by um, Asian artists or artists who are originally from Asia, have Asian, Asian heritage, um, and um, any, what was the other one? Books, artists, uh, and then any pages that just have like Asian elements within them. Um, so yeah, so any of those would work for the, the color along. Okay, those guys are super cute. I'm very excited about this. I know I'm gonna have to do some shading for that, but I just wanna get a base layer down so you guys can kind of see where my head is for, for different things. I really love this one. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a, I only have the 24 set of the, um, the Albrecht Durer. So we're gonna, I'm gonna attempt something similar to that. So let's, I think it's like a turquoisey color first and I don't really have a turquoisey color. So we're gonna start with some green um, and that's kind of the most, here, we'll try this one. I'll just do a really light layer. So I'm gonna try it on this guy. Um, let's see, is that the one I wanna do it on? Yeah, we'll just try it on, on this one. So I'm just gonna do a, a very light layer on the insides of all of these leaves and see if that, see if that works. Uh, yeah, so got some, some pages colored in books that I haven't, that I was too scared to color in before. So that's made me really happy. Here's another one, another example of that. I'm, you know, working in a book that I was too terrified of. <laughs> Not terrified of, but just intimidated by, because there are so many beautiful versions of pages out of this book, and um, so many like true artists that color pages in here that just make them look like masterpieces. And I just look at them like I don't know what they did. How did they make it look like that? So it's a little intimidating, and it it is for you know for all of us. And so then. We just kind of look at the book and we're like, oh yeah, that's pretty, but I can't, I can't make it look like that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and then it just kind of sits there and wastes away. Ooh, I like that color. That is a good succulent color right there. Super light green. That was a, that was a good call. I wonder how if I can color this whole page with just those 24 pencils. Probably not. I'm gonna probably need to use different pencils for some shading, um, but I think for all of the basing, I could definitely get away with it. But maybe, well maybe, we'll see. I think that's part of it too. So I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit right in there. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, let's let that dry for a second. We're gonna go on to, let's go to this one. Uh, and I'm going to make that one pink. So I've got a couple of different reds. We're going to try this one. Yeah, we'll just try this one and just do really light. So that's the nice thing about the watercolor pencils is you can adjust um, the vibrancy depending on the amount of pigment you put down on the paper. So I'll color this one and then I'll kind of show you what it would look like if I've like put full pressure. Oh, that's really light too. That looks nice. I like that. Yeah, and then so like if I was gonna do full pressure on a page, so this is just me coloring it. I'm not pushing hard, this is maybe medium pressure. Um, and then when you activate that, that's just so much darker. And then if I pushed really hard, I think I would probably even get it, I could even get it darker. So I'm pushing hard on that one. Yeah. And so yeah, the more the more pigment you put on the paper, the the darker that the it's gonna be, basically. So yeah, being able to 
change the, um, what is that? Tone? No. What is that? I don't know. The vibrancy, I guess. I don't know the right terms. Okay. So I really like these little, um, I just like all of these little flowers. They're so cute. So for some of these little guys, so I've got a few in here where there's like a different color on the end. Those ones are super cute. Um, I should have blown these up a little bit bigger. I did like the colors in this one, but I really wanted to go with the pinks. I wanted some pinks in mine. And this one seems like a fall, fall succulents. I don't know if that's really a thing, but um, I really liked this one because I'm always drawn to pinks and purples and blues and turquoises and stuff. So these ones were right up my alley. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to start those out with a light blue. And we're going to do, let's see, which blue do I like? We're going to try this this blue. So this one is ultramarine. And again, I'm just starting very light. And then when I come in to do some shading, if I want to add some color to the tips of these guys, I can, um, I can do that with my, you know, whatever pencils I choose to, to bring in and do some shading on them. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in the background here. That one might be a pencil background as well and just kind of do like a mixture of different colors. Or a watercolor background with a mixture of different colors. I'm not picky on that one. Ooh, I like that one. I'm going to do some more in that, in that color. I'm just going to go through and grab a few of these little guys. Just a very light. I think those are pretty. Um, yeah, so what else? Okay, so, um, my youngest did start school, so she just started seventh grade. Um, she's enjoyed her first week, well, week and two days. Um, she's been having fun. She likes her teacher. Um, thankfully, you know, it's a school that she's familiar with, so she already knew all the teachers, basically. Um, it was just the fact that, you know, her class was going to change just a little bit. But it's all the same kids. It's all, you know, people that she knows. Um, unfortunately, I and mean, she doesn't seem overly bothered by this, so I'm not, I'm trying not to mention it to her. Um, but she's not in any of her, any of the classes. She's not in homeroom, her home, like homeroom class with um, anybody that she's like super comfortable with. So that was a little upsetting, but I think she's going to be fine. I like, she doesn't, I don't think she has any, any worries about anything like that. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of, we're going to try some dark phthalo blue. Oh, earlier, that was the one that I used on this, this teal one. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of the phthalo blue. So we're going to try adding these two together and see what that does. Um, and I'm going to do that one over here, just in case it's too similar to that. So I'm going to do a light layer of this one first. Oh yeah, she's, she's enjoying school. She has her very first art class tomorrow, which she's very excited about. I'm very excited for her. So fingers crossed that that goes well for her. Um, this is our, the first time we're taking any kind of classes at this place. So hopefully it's good. And she signed up, it's like a six week course. So yeah, fingers crossed. That's going to be good. Oh, I like those two together. Okay. I'm thinking maybe these Albrecht Dürer are going to be like my new favorite watercolor pencils because this is really fun. <laughs> I'm sure the paper has something to do with it. I'm sure that's helping, but holy cow. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see the difference between these two, but in the color, there, there's, I mean, this one's more green and this one's definitely more blue. I like that a lot. I wish that there was one that was a little more pink, but I don't really see that. So we're going to do a little bit of a peach color one, I think. So I'm, for that one, I'm going to try a little bit of, 
gonna try a little bit of this color and a little bit of like this orange color. Let's try it on this one up here and see how this goes. So just a really light layer. I don't know if this is just gonna make an orangey red or if it's really gonna be peach, but I would like some kind of peach color to be on the page as well. Coral or something. Uh, yeah, that works. That's pretty peach. Yeah, and the they, they just dissolve so well. That's awesome. I love it. Okay. Well, I like all those colors that I've started with. So let's do one more color. I'm going to get this color out here. So this is uh, magenta. And we're going to go with, let's do this one. So I'm just going to color lightly. I don't know if this is the same color that I used on that one. I can't remember. We're going to try it and see. I feel like it was the red, the more red color one. Yeah, because this one's like more purple. Oh, that's so cute. Yep, this is this is awesome. I really like this. This is going to be fun, I think. It's the first time I've been excited about <laughs> coloring anything in a couple of days, so that's that's always a bonus. Uh, my son starts his second year of college next week. He's very excited. Um, he will be a um, what is it called when you drive to school? Ugh. All I can think of is conductor, and I know that that's not the right, the right word. Commuter, right? Maybe that's it. I don't know. Yeah, but he will, we have a really good um, school downtown, and uh, so he's just going to be driving downtown. Well, he won't be driving. He'll be riding with someone. Um, but he'll still get to school. So that's always, that's, that's good. Um, and hopefully I won't have to drive, <laughs> drive him too often. Cause I was just like, when, when he said he was going to move home, I was like, okay, well, are you getting a license? Am I, <laughs> what's going on here? Um, was, neither of my kiddos are interested in driving and it's, it's a little hard on this mama, but you know, I'm not going to force them. I don't, I don't, I'm able to help do that. And, you know, eventually they'll have to learn if they don't live into in a city where there's good public transportation. Um, but, you know, that's on them. I, I offered many times to take them to get their test done. And they're just like, well, we can't pass the test yet. And we, and I was like, well, have you studied? Well, no. So, but the thing is, all of their socializing is done online, like all of it. So they don't need to go anywhere. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it'll change at some point, but we'll figure it out. They'll figure it out, I'm sure. Just right now, I feel like I'm just kind of here to be, you know, uh, I can just catch them right now if they if they mess up, if they need help. Because um, that's what my mom did for me, and that's what my husband's mom did for him. And, you know, however frustrating it might be at times, I'm thankful that, um, that we can do that for them, that we have the, the financial means and the the space, you know, to welcome them back home. Um, so yeah. Um, we're going to play D and D of some sort tomorrow. We were going to play our regular game and then my poor brother got sick. So that, that couldn't happen. And then, um, my oldest was like, Hey, 
since my birthday's coming up, I would kind of like to do something. I was like, yes, let's do something. We'll figure it out. So somebody's going to run a game of some sort. I don't know if it's going to be d d It's going to be some kind of dice rolling RPG game. <laughs> so, um, and for those of you who are not nerds out there, <laughs> RPG means role playing game. <laughs> Uh, which is, it's similar to, to Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so, yeah. So I like that. I think that's going to be really cute. It's going to be a very soft page for sure. I'll definitely have some shading thrown in there. Um, I kind of am going more for this vibe. This one's just, some of those are just a little dark, but I really like, I really like the multicolored things but it, you know I want some that look more like realistic succulents too so it'll be a mix of those and these cute little foxes I'm super excited to finish this up um yeah but I think that's going to be it for me today I know this is a, a shorter um a shorter video shorter weekend whip for me but uh like I said I'm I'm not feeling the greatest right now so I'm gonna go um and lay down for a bit <laughs> um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry it's been a minute since I've been here. And um, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much for being here today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.